hello everyone uh, welcome to the gaming review of oneplus 3 phone uh, i had done the unboxing and initial impressions and i will uh, leave a card here and also a link in the description below for the unboxing and the uh, initial impressions so now let's look at how this phone performs in gaming and since it has snapdragon 820 processor and uh, adreno 530 i expect that uh, it should work uh, well with all the games and i should see no lag so let's just test, test it out the other factor we'll also be testing is the 6GB RAM. So we'll see how many games uh, it keeps it in memory and how the RAM management is also in this. I don't have any background apps open. So I've cleared all of them. So let's just start. So let's just start with Temple Run 2 first. Let's just start playing. Again, so just I think it's nice well by the way the sound is coming from the phone itself this is the sound output of the phone though it's not very loud it's kind of okay uh, let's go to the next so let's take a bigger game like Nova 3 so a lot of phones struggle with this game so let's just see how uh, OnePlus performs in this See, it's really very smooth no issues at all in playing this game so next uh, let's look at Mortal Kombat so this is also a graphics heavy game and uh, let's see how it plays the Mortal Kombat X As you can see it is handling uh, all the games very well now let's go to the next one which will be uh, let's take this front line to commando As you can see, it handles this game also very well, no issue at all. So you should be able to, you should be able to handle this game. Now, since we have played so many games, let's just look at uh, how, how many games. So we have one, two, three, four, five games we have played. Let's just go back and see how the RAM management is. So yeah, we are able to resume. That means this game is still uh, available in the memory. So that's one nice thing with this 6GB one. That's the advantage that you have. 
let's also look at whether this also is there so this also is there in memory so let's continue and uh, let's look at other games now so let's go to batman this is also a heavy game You can see we didn't have any much issues in playing this one also. Uh, let's now play the asphalt game. So this is the asphalt 8 uh, game. So let's just uh, play six. can see there is no lag whatsoever it's ready to handle it really well without any issues so there is no lag at all it's ready to handle all the animations really very well Uh, also let's look at the benchmarks and uh, here are the benchmarks so let's now look at uh, some of the benchmarking software and see the scores so if you see here uh, this is uh, Geekbench 3 so it has a single core score of 2344 and multiple core score of 5064 so in single core performance as you can see it uh, beats uh, all the uh, or flagships of the last year and as you can see the difference is almost double so this was the one plus two score and uh, the performance is almost double now and uh, same thing if you look at uh, multi-core also uh, it's also almost uh, double the multi-core performance now let's look at uh, nt2 benchmark so if you see the nt2 benchmark it uh, scored a full score of 141659 which is uh, quite very good actually and then with anti 2 we have also done the stress test so if you look at the stress test so let's look at the stress test little bit more closely so this is the cpu performance curve as you can see uh, with the load how the cpu is performing and how with the total cpu load it was doing and what's interesting here is if you see the cpu frequency cores it is never uh, i mean went over the curves so the curves are very nice and then if you see the battery temperatures if you see the temperatures they go to a max of around 46 to 48 degrees probably which is really very good that it is able to keep uh, under 50 degrees uh, below the load and then uh, we, after this test the phone became really hot and then uh, once the test was over uh, hardly i think it was three four minutes and the phone came back to normal temperatures which is really very good actually so next let's look at uh, velamo so this has a multi-core uh, performance and uh, metal this metal score uh, if you see this is the one which uh, explores a lot of uh, multi-core testing it does so as you can see uh, this is the one plus one performance and this is the galaxy s6 and here is the one plus score and now if you look at multi-core uh, so if you see the multi-core performance also it has been able to perform really very well and then you, this is the browser test so in browser test also as you can see it's uh, done better than the most of the last year's flagship and then now let's next go to the 3d mark so just let's run the 3d mark tests now yeah so the test is finished and we see a score of uh, 2287 and uh, if you see the monitoring data here it shows the graph of uh, how the S fps versus the battery charge and how the temperatures or if you see the temperatures are almost linear here you can see that it's only little bit above 40 uh, that it has reached uh, and uh, this is the graphics score 2814 and this is the physics score so uh, those are some of the uh, benchmarks that we wanted to run to see and in most of the benchmarks as you can see 
it co- scores a really very respectable score for a, being a 2016 phone and yeah it uh, comes very close to the most of the flagship phones out there let's now go and let's look at the ram management so we have uh, so many games and add up and so many apps so let's now check if this uh, is in the memory or it has to load again as you can see it's loading back again so it's uh, not able to manage that in the memory so let's let's just go do one thing let's go to the actually the settings and just check what is the ram uh, usage here so let's look at memory so as you can see it's only 1.5 GB it's showing 4.1 GB is still free in the memory but as you can see it's uh, still uh, loading the apps so I think that OnePlus can improve the RAM management here uh, as you can see it's still loading the uh, games even though there is uh, enough RAM free to keep these games in memory works and uh, so if you see it's uh, really a very fast uh, phone and the performances of the phone is really very good it is also able to handle all games very well and it has been top rated by most of the benchmarking software as you can see so yeah this has been a very good experience for me also with this phone uh, it's certainly not uh, been laggy from whatever i've used from last two days and it's like a really amazing phone with all the features and it just ticks all the right boxes uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, and uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel thanks very much for watching and uh, i'll come out with the camera review in the next video detailed camera review thank you